In today's video, I'm going to be going over my top five tips on how to become a better photographer. But before I do that, I'm going to illustrate how I use these tips to get better by showing you guys a picture lineup of my oldest photo and my newest photo so you guys can see my progression. So you guys know I'm not just like talking and just making stuff up. So for any of you guys wondering, you know, how do I get better? I'm not really seeing any progress. Don't worry, you guys. I got you guys. You know, we're all in this together. Just like, you know, the High School Musical song. Not that, not that I've watched it or anything. I'm too mature for that stuff. I'm gonna watch Kung Fu Panda 3 in theater soon. So here's a lineup of my oldest photo and my newest photo. And as you can see, there is a bit of progression. I guess just picking up techniques mostly and then applying whatever I'm learning. So these five tips I've applied to my photos and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what they are. We're gonna go from five to one because that's more dramatic. And yeah, here, okay, here we go. So tip number five, you have to learn new things. If you're not out there busting your butt, reading articles and magazines and buying books for photography and looking up new lighting, who is gonna do that for you? Unless you hire someone who does that for you then send them over to me. I mean, it sounds so basic. It sounds like something that everyone should already know, but most people just don't go out and try to learn new things. I feel like we're stuck in our ways. We don't try to go out there and figure out a new technique. What new lenses can I shoot with? What new things can I try? So one reason why you you may not be progressing is because you're just you just haven't picked up anything new. You need a trial and error period in photography to learn. One thing that's helped me is when I go on behind the scenes for some photography pages and I check the equipment that they're using and then I check the comments and sometimes they'll have a picture of the behind the scenes, how they shot it, and they'll be answering questions. So go ahead, ask questions to other photographers. That is going to get you information that you can later use in the future. Tip number four, watch tutorials and learn things even though it's not your style or it's never something that you would ever use because you can always take away something from it. I watch tutorials on baby photography, okay? You think I care about babies? I like babies. I have a niece and a two-year-old niece and they're awesome, but would I ever like to photograph them full time? I don't want gray hairs. For me, I think that even if you take away one technique or one tip or one thing that you can use, then it was totally worth it because all these little things will only enhance your photography. So again, watch tutorials that you may not really care about or are interested in. So even if that's baby photography, family portraits, posing animals, you might take away technique that you can later use for something else. I use techniques from family portraits for wedding photography and to manage big groups, bridesmaids, groomsmen. I think it's all intertwined and the more that you know, the easier it'll be for you. Tip number three, try new settings. A lot of us are really comfortable at the same aperture, same ISO, same shutter speed. We use the same lens. Switch it up sometimes. Maybe use a lens that you're not really used to using or you wouldn't randomly use. For instance, I used to shoot at 1.4 for the longest time until I realized that a lot of my favorite fashion photographers shot at 2.8 or above. So I was like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna try this. And for the longest time I've been shooting at 2.0 and 2.8. It's just like me with Lana Del Rey. At first I was like, oh, her music's super weird, but a year later, I was like, damn, this that's good. I blast it in my car now. Like, I'm going through that emo phase right now. Like, summertime sadness. We have like two days of summer in Michigan, and then it's winter. So I know I can't use that song. Tip number two. And this may seem totally obvious, but you have to try new things, you guys. You have to do it. Just do it. Use different techniques in your photography. Put things in front of your lenses. Take a photo from a different angle than you normally would. Use different lighting. Eat chips before your photos do, I don't know. Go to McDonald's. A lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, I don't know what else to do. My photography isn't getting better. I'm like, okay, well, what have you changed? Oh, nothing, not, not much really. Okay, so why do you expect it to change if you're not changing anything? If you want different results, you have to change something. Something's gotta change, okay? Don't expect to get better if you're still using the same lens, same settings same lighting as you were three years ago. And the number one thing, and this is the most important thing, I know people say this in their videos, oh, this is important, this is important. What I'm about to say right now, I hope it changes your life. Okay, actually, no, don't, okay, I put too much pressure on myself. Okay, I, I put myself up on the pedestal right now, I'm going down. I lifted myself too high, but it is really important though. Don't let it get to your head. Whether it's success, photography, the money, because the second that you think that you're the best thing out there is when you stop growing. 
I mean, why go any further? You're already the best, right? When you think that you are amazing at photography, why change anything? You're already amazing. That's why a lot of photographers who are in business for 20, 30 years, they still use the same techniques because they think, hey, this has worked for the past 20 years and they're st they still have the same pictures from like 1960. I think George Washington was around when they last updated their settings. And I say this because I know photographers who let it get to their head and they're not getting any better. The second you get a big head, it's like a hot air balloon. You just fly up into the clouds and you never come back down to earth. And if you go all the way up to space, you'll get sucked by a black hole. And I'm sure it'd be really boring because you'd be like the only one there. Black hole population one. There's people who think that they are better than someone because they take better pictures. How does that make you a better person? Stay humble, do what you do, and do it for yourself. Don't do it for anyone else. So those are my top five tips on becoming a better photographer. And I know that these aren't technical things that you have to do, but trust me, they play a big role in the learning process. If it works for me, then I'm sure that could work for you. Hopefully my tips are somewhat helpful. Again, I know that they're not technical. I will make a video on the technical aspects on becoming a better photographer, but for now, I think this is just as important. You gotta fix the inside and then the outside.